When walking by the lakeside there, the master saw two boats. At his request, the owner Simon sailed him out from shore. There seated Jesus taught the crowd and said, put out to sea. Cast out your nets this one time more, that works of God you'll see. The nets were full to breaking, and they dragged their catch to land. When Simon said, Oh, leave me, Lord, for I'm a sinful man. The Lord replied, Be not afraid, from this time on you'll see. Your catch will not be fish, but men leave all and follow me. The one who shall so sparingly will reap a small reward. If bountiful, then great will be the blessing of the Lord. Be neither sad nor grudging in your giving, for we know God loves a cheerful giver, thus we serve him high and low. Be neither sad nor grudging in your giving, for we know God loves a cheerful giver, thus we serve him high and low. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace from the high, and for salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace in the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy church and for all who enter it with faith, reverence, and fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our holy father Francis, Pope of Rome, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our most reverend and metropolitan William, for our God-loving Bishop Kurt, for the venerable presbyterate, the deaconate in Christ, and all the clergy and people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our government and for all in the service of our country, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this city, for every city community, and for the faithful living in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits on the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel by sea, air, and land, for the sick, the suffering, the captive, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the servant of God, George, and for his blessed memory, and that his every transgression voluntary and involuntary be forgiven, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That he may stand uncondemned before the fearsome judgment seat of Christ, and that his soul be committed to the place of light and life where all the saints and just repose. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That we be delivered from all affliction, wrath, and need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Protect us, save us, have mercy on us, and preserve us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. <clears throat> 
blessed and glorious lady, the Theodokos and the Ever-Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, <coughs> O Lord. For to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, is due all glory, honor, and worship, now and ever and forever. Amen. Shout joyfully to the Lord, all the earth. Sing praise to his name, give to him glorious praise. Through the prayers of the Theotokos, O oh, Savior, save us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever mm. and forever. Amen. Through the prayers of the Theotokos, O Savior, save us. Be gracious to us, O God, and bless us. Let your face shine upon us and have mercy on us. O Son of God, risen from the dead, Save us who sing to you, Alleluia. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. and ever virgin Mary and became man without change. You were also crucified, O Christ our God, and by death have trampled death, being one of the Holy Trinity, glorified with the Father and the Holy Spirit, save us. Come, let us sing joyfully to the Lord. Let us acclaim God our Savior. O Son of God, risen from the dead, save us who sing to you. Alleluia. Praise them, be attentive. Come, let us worship and bow before Christ. O oh, Son of God, risen from the dead, save us who sing to Alleluia. The stone was sealed by the Jews. Soldiers guarded your most pure body. But you, O oh Savior, arose on the third day, granting life to the world. Therefore the heavenly powers acclaimed you, O giver of life. Glory to your resurrection, O Christ. Glory to your kingdom. Glory to your salvation. You alone love us all. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As God, you arose in glory from the grave, and raised the world with you. Human nature praises as God and death has vanished. 
Adam sings in ex exaltation, O Lord. Eve, ex fixed from bondage, Christ joyfully. O Christ our God, it is you who gives resurrection to all. For you <clears throat> are holy, our God, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Ah, amen. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Rejoice in the Lord, you righteous ones. Praise from the upright is fitting. May your mercy, O Lord, be upon us. May your mercy be upon us, who have placed our hope in you. Wisdom. Let us be attentive. Brethren, let me say this much. He who sows sparingly will reap sparingly, and he who sows bountifully will reap bountifully. Everyone must give according to what he has inwardly decided, not sadly, not grudgingly, for God loves a cheerful giver. God can multiply his favors among you so that you may always have enough of everything and even a surplus for good works. As it is written, he scattered abroad and gave to the poor. His justice endures forever. He who supplies seed for the sower and bread for the eater will provide in abundance. He will multiply the seed you sow and increase your generous yield. In every way, your liberality is enriched. Through us, it results in thanks offered to God. Peace be to you, reader. Wisdom be attentive.
reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Luke. Let us, be, <clears throat> let us be attentive. <coughs> At that time, Jesus went to a town called Nain, and his disciples and a large crowd accompanied him. As he approached the gate of the town, a dead man was being carried out, the only son of a of, uh, without mother. The considerable crowds of town folk were with her. The Lord was moved with pity upon seeing her and said to her, Do not cry. Then he stepped forward and touched the leather, leather, and this the bearers hold it. Jesus said, Young man, I did you get up? The dead man sat up and began to speak. Then Jesus gave him back to his mother. Fear seized them all, and they began to praise God. The great prophet has raised among us, they said, and God has visited his people. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Glory be to Jesus Christ. Glory be forever. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, the Sunday Gospel tells us about a widow whose only son died. And not long before, her husband died and she was left alone in this world. And for a woman in the East, this is a great tragedy because she was left without support without certain material support. And she could, not, she could support her life only at the expense of alms. And here a grief-stricken woman and mother remains alone. And you know, when people met death, it is a incredible calamity. Can we find a word to comfort mother who has lost her child and does hope for the future? And here it, it happens that with this, this woman meets Christ. The day before, all those who walked with Jesus witnessed the miracle that our Lord showed. The healing of the son of the head of the synagogue. And uh, so two processions meet in front of the gates of the city of Nain a joyful procession with Jesus Christ and a sad funeral procession. And the Lord took pity on her approach and quietly said, don't cry. This word were a testimony of love, a testimony that the Lord gave us, gave us her hope. The Lord stopped this mourning procession, approached the people as a loving father, 
as the creator of the universe and said, do not cry. And to young men, Jesus said, young men, I bid you get up. The Lord touched the boy who was lying on the leather. We know that according to Jewish custom, only a relative could touch the deceased. And with this touch, the Lord once again proves that He is close to all of us, that He never leaves us. And to the young man who was lying on the ladder, he turned, young man, I tell you, get up. And the young man stood up and began to speak. We don't know what his first word, words were after the resurrection, but we can imagine the reaction of people who saw it. We can imagine the mother's emotions. We can imagine and also compare the crying of a mother. What was this cry in the beginning and what is it now? What a cry of sadness, grief, despair, and what a cry of joy and happiness. You know, today there are many lonely people in the world who have remained lonely since childhood or have become so because of the death of a husband or wife, children. Among them there are many mental, mentally, mentally lonely people who do not have close people to whom they could confide, open their soul, their experience to them, so that they would be listened to and understood, spiritually supported. Although very often such people have family. As they say, they feel like strangers among their own. Single people without family or friends often feel unhappy. Say they have no one to live for anymore. Feel useless in this world anymore. And they cry tears of hopelessness, tears of loneliness. But in today's Gospel we can see, and what is most important to understand, <clears throat> that God never leaves us alone, never leaves us without hope for the future. Yes, of course, we all know and understand we die. Our relatives, parents, friends, children die. But this is an uh, inevitable, inevitable process. And we can't do anything about it. Because with the first sin, death came into the world. And even when it is very difficult for us, we must remember that the Lord is always by our side. During his ascension, Jesus said the following words to the apostles. Behold, I am with you always until the end of the age. So let's remember that we are never alone in life. Christ is with us. Therefore, our life always has meaning and we can feel needed, needed and happy 
in this world if we live with Christ. If we live with Christ, with Christ for Christ. For Christ and for our neighbors. Glory be to Jesus Christ. Glory be forever. Let us all say with our whole soul and with our whole mind, let us say, Lord have mercy. O Lord Almighty, God of our fathers, we pray you here and have mercy. Lord have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy, we pray you here and have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again, we pray for our Holy Father Francis, Pope of Rome, and for our most reverend and metropolitan William, for our God loving Bishop Kurt, for those who serve and have served in this Holy Church, for our spiritual fathers, and for all our brothers and sisters in Christ. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our government and for all in the service of our country. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the people here present who await your great and abundant mercy, for those who show us mercy and for all Christians of the true faith. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. For you are merciful and loving God, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy. We pray you hear and have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Again we pray for the repose of the soul of the departed servant of God George and that her every transgression voluntary and involuntary be forgiven. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. May the Lord God commit her soul, his soul, to the place where the just repose. This is eternal justice, and your word is true. For you, O Christ our God, are the resurrection, the life, and the repose of your departed servant, George. And we give glory to you with your eternal Father, and your all holy, good, and life creating spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Let us who Now set us 
Francis Pope of Rome, our most reverend and metropolitan William, and our God loving Bishop Kurt, the entire priestly, the Aknoid monastic order, our government, and all in the service of our country, and the ever honorable founders and benefactors of this holy church. May the Lord God remember all you, Christians of the true faith. Always, now, and ever, and forever. Amen. That we He rose 
rose on the third day according to the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. And he is coming again in glory to judge the living and the dead. And his kingdom will have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the creator of life, who proceeds from the Father. Together with the Father and the Son, he is worshiped and glorified. He spoke through the prophets in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I profess one baptism for the remission of sin. I expect the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us stand right, let us stand in all, let us be attentive to offer the holy and ever in peace. Mercy, peace, a sacrifice of praise. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and Father in the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit, let us lift up our hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to Proper and just to sing to you, to bless you, to praise you, to thank you, to worship you in every place of your dominion, for you are God ineffable, intensible, invisible, incomprehensible, ever existing, yet ever the same, you and your only begotten Son, and your Holy Spirit, you brought us out of existence into being, and again raised us up and when we had fallen, and left nothing undone until you brought us to heaven and gave us your kingdom to come. For all this we thank you, and your only begotten Son, and your Holy Spirit, for all that we know and that we do not know, for the manifest and hidden benefits bestowed on us. We also thank you for this liturgy, which we are pleased to accept from our hands, even though there stand before you thousands of archangels, tens of thousands of angels, cherubim, and seraphim, six-winged, many-eyed, soaring aloft on their wings, singing, Shouting, crying aloud, and sing the triumphal hymn. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. Heaven and earth are filled with your glory. So loved your world that you give your only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in him should not perish but have life everlasting. He came and fulfilled the whole divine plan in our behalf. On the night he was betrayed, or rather, when he surrendered himself for the life of, of the world, he took bread into his holy and all pure and immaculate hands, gave thanks and blessed it. Sanctified, broken, give it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take it, this is my body, which is broken for you. 
for the remission of sins. Amen. Likewise, Think of this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the remission of sins. Amen. Remembering, therefore, this saving command and all that has come to pass in our behalf, that rose the tomb, the resurrection on the third day, the ascension into heaven, the sitting at the right hand, and the second coming in glory, offering you your own from your own, always and everywhere. We praise you, we bless you, we and upon these gifts lying before us. And make this bread a precious body of your Christ. Amen. And that which is in this chalice, the precious blood of your Christ. Amen. Changing them by your Holy Spirit. That for those who partake of them, they may bring about the spirit of vigilance, the remission of sins, the communion of your Holy Spirit, the fullness of the heavenly kingdom, and confidence in you, no judgment or condemnation. Moreover, we offer you the spiritual sacrifice for those departed in faith, the forefathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, murderers, confessors, ascetics, and for every just spirit brought to perfection in faith. Especially for our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theodokos and ever Virgin Mary. It is truly proper to glorify you, O Theodokos, the ever blessed, immaculate, and the Mother of our God, more honorable than the cherubim and beyond compare more glorious than the seraphim who a virgin gave birth to god the word you truly the theotokos we magnify among the first the lord remember our holy father francis pope of rome our most reverend metropolitan william our god-loving bishop Kerr. Preserve them for your holy churches in peace, safety, honor, and health for many years, as they faithfully impart the word of your truth. And remember all your people. Remember, Lord, the city in which we dwell, and every city and community, and the faithful living in them. Remember, Lord, those who travel by sea, air, and land, the sick, the suffering, the captive, and grant them salvation. Remember, Lord, those who bring offerings and perform good deeds in your holy churches, and those who remember the poor <coughs> and the all of us and down your mercies. <coughs> and grant that with one voice and one heart we may glorify and praise your most honored and magnificent name, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. May the mercies of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with all of you and with your spirit. Now that we have commemorated all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy for the precious gifts offered and consecrated that our God who loves us all may receive them on his holy heavenly and mystical altars in our most spiritual fragrance and send down upon us in return his divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. That we be delivered from all affliction, wrath, and need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Protect us, save us, have mercy on us, and preserve us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. That day is all day, be perfect, holy, be 
peaceful and without sin, let us beseech the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide and guardian of our souls and bodies, let us beseech the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For the and remission of our sins and offenses, let us beseech the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For the is good and beneficial of our souls and for peace in the world, let us beseech the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. That we may spend the rest of our life in peace and repentance. Let us beseech the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For a Christian, painless, unashamed, peaceful, end of our life, and for a good account before the fearsome judgment seat of Christ. Let us beseech the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. Asking for unity in the faith and for communion of the Holy Spirit. Let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. To you, O Master, who loves us all, we commit our whole life and hope, and we employ, pray, and entreat you. Make us worthy to partake with a clear conscience of your heavenly and awesome mysteries from this sacred and spiritual table. May they bring about the remission of sins, the pardon of transgressions, the communion of the Holy Spirit, the inheritance of the kingdom of heaven, confidence in you, not judgment or condemnation. And make us worthy, O Master, that we may with confidence and without condemnation there call you Father, God of heaven, and say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For sign is the kingdom and the power and the glory, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Peace be to all. into being. Pull down from heaven, O Master, upon those who bow their heads to you, for they do not bow to flesh and blood, but to you, the awesome God. Therefore, the Master makes move for the good of all the path that lies ahead according to the need of each. Sail with those who sail, travel with those who travel, <coughs> cure those who are sick, <coughs> no physician of souls and bodies. Through the grace, the mercy, and the loving kindness of your only begotten Son, with whom we are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life breathing Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. But in precious blood, with your mighty hand, and through us to all the people, God be merciful to me, a sinner. God be merciful to me, a sinner. God be merciful to me, a sinner. Let us be attentive. Holy gift to holy people. One is holy, one is Lord, Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father. that you are truly Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. Accept me today as a partaker of your mystical supper, O Son of God, for I will not reveal your mysteries to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss as to Judas, but like the thief I profess you. Remember me, O Lord, when you come in your kingdom. 
Remember me, O Master, when you come in your kingdom. Remember me, O Holy One, when you come in your kingdom. May the partaking of your holy mysteries, O Lord, be not for my judgment or condemnation, but for the healing of soul and body. O Lord, I also believe and profess that this which I'm about to receive is truly your most precious body and your life-giving blood, which I pray make me worthy to receive for the remission of all my sins and for life everlasting. Amen. O God, be merciful to me, a sinner. O God, cleanse me of my sins and have mercy on me. O Lord, forgive me, for I have sinned without number. Praise the Lord, the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the highest. Praise him in the highest. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Hebrews with the Spirit of God and with faith. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, and the Lord is God, and has revealed himself to us. Through all the earth, their voice resounds, their message reaches to the ends of the world. Alleluia. Love. 
Give me your body, O Christ, Savior and Sovereign, O Guest Divine. Come and rest in my soul, Christ living God, now and forever. Come and rest in my soul, Christ living God, now and forever. Salvation cup I that I may share your life divine. Lord, my poor cry now perceive that I may share your life divine. O oh, Jesus, Lord, we ask you to bless us, full of your sacred heart divine. We so esteem this most precious treasure now and forever. And for all time, O Lord our God, to you we give glory. Bless us, we pray, for you are our soul treasure. Save your people, O God. received the heavenly spirit we have found the true faith and we worship the undivided trinity for the trinity has saved us blessed is our god always now and ever and forever So that we may sing of your glory, sing of your glory, for you have deemed us worthy to partake of your holy, divine, immortal, pure and life-creating mysteries. Keep us in your holiness, so that all the day long we may live according to your truth. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Arise now that we have received the divine, holy, most pure, mortal, heavenly, Light creating and also mysteries of Christ. Let us worthily thank the Lord. Lord have mercy. For you are our sanctification and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Let us go forth in peace. In the name of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord, 
Lord the blessing, those who bless you, and sanctifying those who trust in you, save your people and bless your inheritance. Preserve the fullness of your church, sanctify those who love the beauty of your house, <clears throat> glorify them in return by your divine power, and do not forsake us who hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the priests, to our government, and to all your people. For all generous giving and every perfect gift is from above coming down from you, the Father of light. And we give glory, thanksgiving, and worship to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord, now and forever. Blessed be the name of the Lord, now and forever. Blessed be the name of the Lord, now and forever. The blessing of the Lord be upon you through his grace and loving kindness always, now and ever and forever. Amen. Glory to you, O Christ God, our hope. Glory to you. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Give the blessing. May Christ, our true God, risen from the dead, have mercy on us and save us through the prayers of His most pure Mother, Patroness of this Holy Church, <clears throat> and of the Holy, Glorious, and Illustrious Apostles of our Holy Father, John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople, and through the prayers of all the saints, for Christ is good and loves us all. Amen. Slava Jesus Christ. Slava Navi. Couple uh, announcements about our parish life. First of all, I, I remind you, uh, those who want to register their children or grandchildren for uh, catechism class lessons can take the necessary form <coughs> here in the church, in the vestibule, and behind you. Uh, this uh, form should be filled out and uh, brought to me or given or given to Mrs. Monica Vasco, if you know her. Classes will uh, start next week. About time, uh, you can, you also can ask uh, Mrs. Uh, Monica about time and actually about day. If it will be Sunday or, or Saturday, I don't know yet. It depends how many children we will have and and uh, we will call and ask about the day. Uh, likewise, with the parish uh, membership forms, uh, about uh, census forms, uh, those who have not received, lost, damaged, or <laughs> generally forgot about it, uh, can take this form uh, from the church, fill it out, and uh, then give it to me or uh, sent uh, to rectory office. Um, next, it, um, several people from our parishes, I mean bo both parishes, asked me if they could do, if they could do anything to help people in Ukraine. Uh, is it possible to provide some uh, specific help <clears throat> to those to those in need. Uh, as you all know, we had a collection of uh, funds. Uh, this these funds uh, were sent to Mukachevo Eparchy, and uh, through Mukachevo Eparchy, this uh, 
funds, funds are distributed to where they are most needed. Uh, our bishop, uh, Kurt, has already visited, visited the Mukachevo eparchy now, a uh, couple, maybe months, maybe two months ago, during the war, and uh, he had the opportunity to visit those cities where the displaced people currently live. These funds will be spent as in the intended. But I would like uh, to ask you one favor. I know and understand uh, that uh, this, these days are not easy financially for all of us. But in Ukraine, at the moment, there is very high uh, inflation. Uh, so you understand, uh, before I came here, the exchange uh, rate of the dollars to hryvnia was 1 to 27, and uh, today it is 1 to 37, and this is official, not official, or um, real, uh, realistic, realistically, it's 1 to 41. Um, Given this, many of our small parishes and seminaries cannot support themselves. And uh, one of my uh, former parishes is the same. And this also applies to low-income families. I would ask you if you, if any of you have a desire to make a voluntary donation to help parishes or seminaries in, in Ukraine, please contact me personally. Uh, I will tell you what we can do and what we can't do. It's about uh, donation, about money or about other things. Uh, thank you in advance for understanding um, and it seems to me that's it thank you to everyone present for the <coughs> joint prayer today have a nice weekend and blessed week glory be to jesus christ glory be forever to all priestly and monastic order to all our parishioners to all our brothers and sisters in christ grant the lord many years God grant us many years. God grant us many years. God grant us many blessed years. In health and happiness. In health and happiness. God grant us many.